Thanks for watching, every TV dear viewers. Welcome to our news broadcast. Here are the headlines. In collaboration commemoration in France. Market credit and savings program in the Sydney. Tunisia rejects foreign interference after U.S. concerns over arrests. Syria thanks Arab brothers as quake stir aid diplomacy. In our domestic news, nationals in France commemorated the 33rd anniversary of Funkel operation on 12 February with patriotic zeal under the theme Funkel Resolute Commitment. The commemoration event that was organized in Nantes has uh, been participated by a number of nationals from French cities of Paris, Rennes, Angers, Marseille and Nantes. The event has been highlighted by cultural and artistic programs. Speaking at the occasion, Mr. Barakat Barros, charge aide d'affaires at the Eritrean Embassy, and Mr. Burhana Kidane, chairman of the YPFDJ in France, said that the heroic feat demonstrated by the Eritrean liberation fighters at the coordinated land and naval Funkel operation will be proudly commemorated by the Eritrean people for posterity. They also said that commemoration anniversary of the operation that signaled the total independence of Eritrea shoulders every citizen to live up to expectations of martyrs and commitment to strengthen participation in the national affairs. An activity assessment meeting conducted on 11 February in Tassane subzone by the Microcredit and Savings Program underlined the commendable commercial activities and improvements of livelihoods witnessed in the subzone thanks to the program. Mr. Tadis Mabrahatu, head of the office, said in 2022 in Tassane subzone, 22.6 million nakfa in loans has been dispersed to 2,338 groups, individuals, and government employees in the subzone. Mr. Tadesu went on to say that from the 12,830 beneficiaries of the program, 47.5% are women. Explaining on the objective of the microcredit and savings program, Mr. Tafla Asmarom, acting head of the program, called on area administrators in the subzone to play due part in the effort. Microcredit and savings program has 155 village banks in the subzones of Forto, Haikota, Tassane and Gollidge, respectively. The Ministry of Health branch in Zobamakal reported that strong effort is being exerted to reduce new HIV AIDS infection by 10%. Mr. Saleh Mohammed, the coordinator of the program, said that the plan includes reducing HIV AIDS related deaths by 15%, increasing the distribution of antiretroviral medicine by 95%, as well as reducing to zero level the new HIV AIDS related infections. Mr. Saleh went on to say that from the 24,438 citizens tested for HIV AIDS, 98 were found with the virus, or 0.4% when compared to that of 2021, has shown a decline in the rate of infection. Mr. Saleh further noted that from 13,613 pregnant women tested, 12 or 0.09% of them were found infected with the virus. They were instructed to take the retroviral medicine. Mr. Saleh also called on the public to visit health facilities to know their health condition. That was our domestic news. Please stay tuned now for the international news right after the short break. Tunisia's president yesterday rejected foreign interference and harm to the country's sovereignty after the United States raised concerns over a recent wave of arrests of his uh, critics. 
The United States on Wednesday said it was deeply concerned by the reported arrests of political figures, business leaders and journalists in Tunisia. In recent days, Tunisian police have detained leading figures from opposition or critics of Said, including prominent politicians and influential businessmen. The head of Tunisia's main independent news outlet, Tunisians have for months been suffering shortage of food commodities that economic experts say are mainly caused by a crisis in public finances as the state attempts to avert bankruptcy while negotiating for an international bailout. In his first speech since the devastating earthquakes last week, Syria's President Bashar al-Assad has thanked other Arab nations for aid and rescue efforts after years of broken relations. The giant quakes hit Turkey and Syria on February 6, killing nearly 44,000 people and injuring thousands more. Since the quakes hit, President Bashar al-Assad has been visited by Arab diplomats and received calls from several leaders in the region, including Egypt, Jordan and Bahrain. Some 120 planes packed with humanitarian aid have landed in the country, about half of them from the UAE, which resorted ties with Syria in late 2018. Saudi Arabia has also sent two planes carrying aid to Syria since Tuesday, a first in more than a decade. Russian nuclear fuel and technology sales soared last year as imports by EU countries climbed to the highest in the three years. Figures sourced from Russia's customs records show that in 2022, exports of nuclear fuel and technology in the country's strategic industry surged by over 20 percent. The Russian nuclear industry is essential for the operation of many power plants in Europe. And that was our international news. Please stay tuned for a recap of tonight's headlines. Bangalore Operation commemorated in France. Micro credit and savings program in Tassini. Tunisia rejects foreign interference after U.S. concerns over arrests. Syria thanks Arab brothers as quakes to raid diplomacy. And that was Ernest Fortunate, dear viewers. It is good night from us.